Now, the federal government has dispelled rumors making the rounds that the hydroelectricity dam at Dadenkoa in Gombe State is about to collapse. The Minister of Water Resources gave the assurance during an inspection of the facility. Larry Adiemi reports. With the recent heavy downpour which resulted into flooding in several communities across the country, the fear of an imminent collapse of this dam became a source of concern for community leaders and government officials. To ensure there are no lacunas, the Minister for Water Resources had to travel to the Edro Electricity Dam at Dadinkoa to see firsthand the state of the facility. After a quick tour and consulting with experts, the Minister is confident that the critical national asset is secure and intact. We want to tell Nigerians that the dam is stable, as you can see. What we meant to understand is that, as you can see behind me, the water that is coming out from the spillway, but actually what that causes, and the people that came here look at it and their effects. This is happening as a result of the flooding. But this is not flooding. We, in the Ministry of Water Resources, are leaving no stone on top to ensure that our critical national asset is adequately protected so that we will continue to provide services to the people of Nigeria. Professor Talomen cautions non-professionals to desist from spreading unsubstantiated information that could cause panic. We urge the general public to disregard any unfounded reports of misinformation regarding the condition of that in order. The ministry will continue to collaborate and to keep the public informed any development concerning the dam and other water infrastructure across the country. We take water level every day. We take uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. So from that we compute the amount of water that comes in and the amount of water that goes out. The Dadinkoa Dam was built in 1984 and recently fitted with turbines that contribute 40 megawatts to the nation's electricity grid. Landry Adeyemi. CVC News, Gombe.